guys. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good Hello. evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Hello. Hello, mm -hmm. sir. Welcome. So, uh, well, guys, it's already eight o'clock, so we're going to start. Uh, thank you so much for being on the class one more time. And also, thank you so much for being on time. So that means that you are really interested on in this. So um, today we are going to have a kind of the same uh, the same when it comes to the simple present, but today we're going to learn a little bit about how to create questions, the formulas, and all those details, okay? Once again, I just want to tell you guys if some, is there something that you don't understand or if there's something that you don't, un well, that you don't understand, just let me know, okay? Tell me, please, teacher, can you repeat this? Can you repeat that so I can explain you? So I just want you to tell you that one more time. So once again, welcome, guys. And today we're going to start, as I told you. Today we have uh, the simple present once again, but that was going to be with the question. So today we're going to see a little bit about how to create questions some formulas that you need to follow in order to you or for you to understand how do we create questions in simple present. I know that some of you probably already know a little bit about this, but today we're going to see more about the grammar part, okay? So how to create questions grammatically correct in the simple present, obviously. So yesterday, you guys, we saw how to create sentences in negative and in positives. So I want to verify how well did you understand that part. So I'm going to ask you some questions before we start with today's topic. So let me see. Uh, let me see. Hello, Mr. Elvis Quintanilla. Hello, Hello, sir. Can you please give me an example or a sentence in third person? An example of yours. In third person? Yes. Anything. Anything. My wife is cooking right now. My wife is cooking right now. Because that's kind of there, but like when you say is cooking, that is not simple present. Like you can say she cooks, she cooks right now. So she cooks, but I completely understand what you said. Okay. So don't worry about it. Um, thank you okay. so much, sir, for your participation. Also, uh, let me see Mr. Jonathan Cordova. Hello, sir. Can you, can you tell me one of the rules that we have to the third person when it comes to the third person? Mention, can you mention to me one of the rules that we have for the birds? Alguna de las reglas? No. no, do you remember or not? If you don't remember, it's okay. So how about you, Claudia Yanet? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good Hello. Night. Do you remember <laughs> any of the rules? Uh, I remember what the rule is in bear play. 
play, okay? Can you tell me why we do not modify the verb play or why we do not change the letter Y for a letter I? Why don't we do that? Se modifica eh, uh -huh. cuando hay una consonante después y no se modifica cuando va precedido de una de una de las otras letras. A vowel, okay. Ajá, yeah. de eso. No. Yeah, but that's pretty much it, okay? That's that's something very good. Uh, thank you so much, okay? So okay. let me see. Um, let me see. I can see right here. Erica. Erica Alvarado. Hello. Hello, good night. Good night. Hello. Um, do you remember when we have a verb that ends on the letter S H? Do we modify the verb? What do we do? ¿Qué hacemos si el verbo termina en S H? I am sorry, I, I don't remember. You don't remember? I no. Can someone tell me, guys, what happened when we have a verb that ends in the CH? Do we modify? We do not. Si se modifica. And what do we do? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Oh, are you asking me if we modify it? Change the letter when uh, the verb finish with a um, with a uh, those letters mm -hmm. change um i e s okay qué pasa si yo tengo un verbo que termina en sh what do i do si hablo de la tercera persona obviously. what do i do mm -hmm. only add Uh -huh. Only add what? Only uh, add uh, S, letter S. Just the letter S? Is that right, guys? This is a general question. I'm asking you to all of you. Les estoy preguntando a todos. So, can someone tell me? Thank you so much, Lisette. But there's something right there that is not correct. Ella dijo... Que solo le agregamos la letra S a los verbos que terminan en SH. Is that right? No, teacher, correct? que se le agrega persona. Yes. 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 yes, correct. What about the verb that ends with the letter X? What do we do? Si tengo el verbo fix with the letter X, que significa arreglar, el verbo fix. I will send it through chat. The verb fix. Yes. What do I do? Se le agrega S. Yes. yes, very good. But am I going to do those changes to every single pronoun? O sea, voy a hacer esos cambios en I, do we, day. Do I do that? Is that correct? No, no, why not? No, teacher. primera persona. Okay, great. So it's clear. I guess it's clear that those changes, we are going to do those changes only with the third person, right? Keep that in mind, guys. Okay, keep that in mind. So um, today we are going to be still checking part of the simple present. But today is not going to be sentences. Today is going to be questions. And to start, start with the topic. Let me check this out. Here we have like the very general explanation. The general explanation, we have an auxiliar 
tenemos un auxiliar, the auxiliary is for the pronouns I, you, we, they. We have the auxiliary do. For the pronouns he, she, it, we have the auxiliary does. This is going to be at the beginning of the sentence, al inicio. Never at the end, nunca después del pronombre, always before, I'm sorry, after, yeah, before, I'm sorry, antes del pronombre, right? So I'm going to say, for example, do you like cheese? Do we like cheese? Do they like cheese? And I can say, yes, la respuesta es corta, yes, I do. Yes, we do. Yes, they do. But with the third person, I, I have to use the auxiliary, thus. So I'm going to say, does she like cheese? Does he like cheese? Does it like cheese? I'm going to say the answer. Yes, she does. Yes, he does. Or I can say, no, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. So this is very general information, guys, just for you to get, to try to get an idea about what are we going to see today. So. Here we have a very important part, the contractions that I was uh, saying yesterday. Those are the contractions that we have with the auxiliary. We have don't, that it will, e that it will be equals to, do not, doesn't, that it will be equals to, does not. And we have some examples right here. I can say, I don't like meat, or I can simply say, I do not like meat. This is just a brief reminder about what we saw yesterday, okay? So something very important, it is this part. There is no difference in meaning, though we normally use contractions in spoken English. La mayoría de personas, American natives, Canadians, or someone who speaks English, we prefer using contractions. La mayoría prefieren usar contracciones. Why? Because it's a way, it is something that allows you to speak fast. Permite que se escuche que estás hablando más rápido. And another way to use contractions is because it allows you to make something shorter. Uh, te permite hacer algo más pequeño, right? Because you're using contractions. So most of the time people or someone who speaks English is going to use contractions only when you have a, like a high level, cuando tienes un nivel como bien diplomático, like very, very formal. People do not use contractions. But most of the time, native speakers are going to always use contractions. And something that you need to remember, si utilizamos contraction or not, the meaning is going to be the same. El significado siempre va a ser el mismo. It won't change nothing. The only difference is going to be that instead of using or instead of saying do not, you're going to use a contraction. That's pretty much it. Okay. So let me move forward. And here we have, I will need, I will say some names. So I will need these people to help me. Let me see, um, Mr. Roberto, were you at the class yesterday? Okay, teacher. Were you uh, at the class yesterday? So we in the class ayer, yes? Yes. Okay, so you know what we're talking about. So you will be, you will help me with number one, uh, Mr. Sergio Merino, number two, Mr. Jose Manuel, number three, Elvis Quintanilla, number four, Elias, number five, 
and see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, okay. Nine. So let me see Elizabeth C, number six, Maria Luz, number seven, Brenda, number eight, Jose yo, Valmore, number yo, nine, and the last one, Elena. Yo el say me tocó. Who are you? What's your name? El say me dijo. What's your name? I'm sorry. Elias. Elias. I think I say number six, right? I don't really remember the, the number I told you. All right. Did Didn't you understand what I said? Okay, ready? Just go ahead, sir. Oh. But this will be in the third person. So I just want to see if you remember a little bit. And the third person, all of them. Todos en tercera persona. So go ahead, number one. He goes in, in the park. He goes in the park. That's good. There's some grammar mistakes over there, but that's the main idea, it's good, okay? So number two. Number two. Uh, let me see, uh, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, We've got the first catch. Both catch uh, the ball. Repeat it again. Uh, I, I, sorry, sir. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. What do you want to do? Can you repeat? Yes. For me, please. This is, this is going to be only with the third person. So I want you to tell me an example with the third person. So I want to see if you remember some of the rules. So, those catch the, the ball. Hmm. So then in that case, it will be catches. Catch. Catches. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so thank you, sir. Number three. Number three. Caballero, Bea, she, please. She uh, watch TV. Repeat it again. Uh, he or she watch TV. Okay, I think that you're getting confused right now. The verb wash is lavar. Sorry, sorry. So the uh, verb, uh, the verb watch, con T, T, W, A, T, C, H, that's watch. De ver televisión. Ah, okay. This one is lavar. Okay. Um, she watch um, the car. The car. So, guys, lo que he escuchado hasta ahorita de los tres ejemplos es que no estamos haciendo la pronunciación de la third person. So, for example, in the first one, goes, catches, washes. So it's very important to make the pronunciation, okay? Number four. But thank you so much for your participation. So number four. She kisses my hand. Repeat it again, sir. She kisses my hand. Okay. She kisses my hand. Very, very good. I heard that you made the pronunciation. That's very good, Mr. Elvis. Thanks for that. So number five. Who's number five? Number five. Well, okay, let's see, Claudia. Can you help me with that? He fixes the radio. Very good. He fixes the radio. Very, very good. Okay. Number six. Uh, teacher, uh, bus, sería buses. 
like that. Es, es un vido, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Número seis, what's going on? So you're not paying attention, guys. Who's number six? So I think yeah, this, yeah. this person forgot. Oh, is that you, Elizabeth? Yo, uh, I. Um, pero es que lo que pasa es que no sé cómo, cómo conjugarlo en la oración, porque si es un vido, sería como de abejas. Puede ser it, ba it bases. Exactly. It bases of yeah, seeds. Yeah. We use it for animals. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El it is utilizado para animals. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, um, Elizabeth. So next one. Who's the next one? Hello. So any volunteer guys, so because probably you forgot. Rápido se les olvida. So let me see Jacqueline Mendez. La de Mary. Yes, Mary. Vaya, sería she marries Tira. I don't know, you tell me. Um, as, yeah, she marries with my, my son. Okay, very good. Do I change the letter Y for a letter I or I do not change it? Lo cambio o no lo cambio? Mm. cambio sí. O no lo cambio? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, perfect. So the next one, study. Volunteer. Is that, que sería, um, is he studying, studying English? He studies English, very good. So Carrie, thank you so much, Jose. What about Carrie? Can someone help me? Good night. Uh, she carries the dinner. She carries the dinner. Very good. How about worry? <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to tell a name. And uh, Carlos Guevara. Are you there? You worry about me. Okay, so in that case, Francesca. Worries. Worry. Teacher, a mí me había preguntado, disculpe. Yeah, Francesca. Oh, yo, worry que es. What Preocupar. is worry? Preocuparse. ¿Ah? Preocuparse. Teacher, he worries for the class? He worries for the class. Yes, that's something very, very good. Okay. <laughs> I see that you know a little bit about it. You sure? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, can I say she worries about me? She worries about me, yes. That's that's very good, yeah, she worries about me. And uh, well, I see that you still have some doubts. Alguna duda, algunas cosas que por ahí se no van. But in general, I think that you remember a little bit about the rules. Okay. Okay. So it's very good. So now we're going to the main topic. Also, Miriam, Miriam, I see that you raise your hand. Do you have a question? 
Y, y mi pregunta es, ¿cuál es la diferencia o qué es lo que cambia cuando agregamos eh, el ES y el IES? En realidad, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo sonaría el, el significado? En realidad, porque si preocupa. No, go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. Ajá, si, si, si worry es preocupar, pre, preocuparse, ¿cómo sonaría ya este modificado? Uh, well, it, does, it doesn't really change. El significado no cambia así como... Solo porque lo modifico, no cambia. Por ejemplo, si yo digo no el, ejemplo, el ejemplo que dio Sergio, she worries about me, es como ella se preocupa de mí. She worries about me. Se preocupa por mí. So, cuando modificamos o cuando conjugamos el verbo, yo me preocupo, tú te preocupas, él se preocupa, like that. Like in Spanish. Right? But... En sí, el significado en inglés no cambia. ¿Por qué? Los, los cambios que se hacen en tercera persona son simplemente gramaticales. Solo gramaticales y, y de sentido fonético. Pero al traducirse... No solo, nos, solo nos ayudan a conjugarlo con ciertas cosas. Nos ayudan en sentido fonético para hacer una diferencia entre... Plu, entre la tercera persona y los demás pronombres. Solamente okay. para la pronunciación. Okay. Para eso nos ayuda. But then, the meaning still the same. Gracias. All right, you're welcome. So, here guys, we have a chart um, giving you some examples or some common questions that we use in our daily basis. Eh, estas preguntas las utilizamos ya yeah, like in common situations like do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do I have uh, do I need a pencil? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Quiero que se fijen en algo. I want you to verify it in this part. Cuando yo hago una pregunta haciendo si yo les pregunto do you like chocolate? For example, como un ejemplo, si yo le pregunto esto a Roberto Villalobos, just an example, sir, okay? If I ask you, do you like chocolate? ¿Por qué aquí respondo con I y no digo, yes, you do? Do you know that? Do you know why do I answer in that way? Do you have an idea of why that happens? Esto es en general, ¿verdad? Le estoy preguntando a todos. Do you have any idea? Of why do we do that? No? Porque es como Está que preguntando a mí. A mí. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you gotta be careful, guys. Porque estos son uno de los mistakes más comunes cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés. So you gotta be really careful with this. So every time that you ask a question, like for example, if I ask to Mr. Roberto Villalobos, do you like chocolate? I'm not going to say, yes, you do. Why? Because I'm asking him. So he will answer that question and he will say, yes, I do. So él me va a responder, yes, I do. Porque la pregunta es para él. But in the other way, the other way around, si yo hago la pregunta como, do I need a pencil? Con I, la respuesta va a ser you. Why? Because I'm asking myself. Me lo estoy haciendo yo mismo o se las, me la estoy haciendo, se la estoy haciendo yo a alguien. Y ese alguien me va a responder, sí, tú. Right? So be really careful with this. Hay que ser, poner atención en esto y no hacer estos errores porque son errores que hay veces son de, de cosas básicas que nos llevan a, al no correcto uso del inglés. All right, so we gotta be careful with this. So, um, for example, do you both like chocolate? Do you know why do, are we using we? ¿Tienen alguna idea por qué aquí usamos we si aquí tenemos you? 
Porque le pregunta a dos personas, teacher. Okay, exactly. Oh. Exactly. Oops. It is because um. of that. So, guys, what I need you to understand is that, that we have to pay attention to those details, right? Because if you don't pay attention to that, you can make grammar mistakes. And those grammar mistakes can be something bad for you if you have a test or if you have an evaluation and someone asks you a question like that and you give a different answer, that might be wrong. So you gotta be really careful and pay attention to those details so you give the right answer, okay? So very good. So do you do they like chocolate? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does he like chocolate? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does no, she like chocolate? Doesn't. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Does it have four wheels? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. This is just general information and some general examples for you to understand the differences and to pay attention to those details I just said, okay? So let's move forward in here. Aquí tenemos las dos diferentes tipos de questions that we can create in simple present. Pero aquí ya tenemos una formula. We have a formula or structure that we need to follow. Siempre seguir esta estructura, right? If we are not going to use, si no vamos a utilizar a WH question, ¿cuál va a ser la estructura o la fórmula? First of all, the auxiliary, do or does, then the subject, you, Peter, uh, what, we, they, he, she, it, and the verb, cualquier verb, right? So we have read and play. The rest, esto que dice rest aquí, el resto, we can also call it complement. That is going to be the same thing. So remember, this is the structure. First of all, or number one, auxiliary. Number two, subject. Number three, verb. And number four, the complement. Right? That is the first structure or formula that you need to follow in order to create a grammatically correct question using the simple present. And obviously, tenemos también una structure para las respuestas cortas o para responder. First, yes or no, dependiendo si tú quieres decir yes or no. Then the subject, I do with they, he, she, it, and the auxiliary, contracted or not contracted. So do or don't, does or doesn't, depending on what you're saying, okay? So um, this is the first part. But when we are using a WH questions, Aparte de estas WH question, guys, ¿hay alguna otra que ustedes conozcan? Is there any other L? Any other one that you know? Apart from the ones that we have right here. Who? Who? Será, no sé si aplica, no. pero será why, teacher. Why? That's a why? WH question, yes. What oh, else? Which? which? Very good. How? Another one. How? How, oh. aunque no empieza oh. con doble, uh, WH, how es tomada como parte de las WH questions as well. Another one. Who? 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 Yes. Who? Who? What Who? else? Okay. ¿Qué más? Another one. Where? Why? 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 Yes. Another one. Where? Where? Yes, we have where right here. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Later on, we are going to see more a little bit about them. So, what is the formula or what is the structure that we are going to use when we have a WH question at the beginning? Very easy. Lo primero, number one, 
the WH question. Number two, the auxiliary do or does depending on the subject, right? Number three, the subject. Number four, the verb. And number five, the complement. A diferencia de las preguntas que solo llevan auxiliar, las preguntas que llevan una WH question at the beginning, en estas siempre, always, in always, you will need to give a complete answer. Una respuesta completa. You are not allowed, no se permite solo decir, yes, I do. Or no, I don't. No. Cuando tenemos una WH at the beginning, ahí tenemos que dar una respuesta completa. Por favor, prestar atención a eso. Pay attention to that. Because that is also a common mistake. Es un error muy común. So pay attention to that. So we have some examples right here. Can someone help me? Any volunteer? Un voluntario? to help me to read question number one. <laughs> what do you play on your computer? What do you play in your computer? Thank you so much and help me to read the answer. I play games on my computer. Very good. So Ana Maria Lopez, I saw that you raised your hand. <laughs> you want to help me with number two? <laughs> Uh, Ana Maria, are you, are, I saw that you raised your hand. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Es que hay mucho ruido. When does your mother go to work? She goes to work at six o'clock. Very good. And the last one, a volunteer? Ana Yancy, okay. Hello, teacher. Let's go ahead. Where do you meet your friend? I meet it uh -huh. at the bad stop. Very good. Thank you so much. Another thing, guys. Otra cosa muy importante. En las preguntas, never, pay attention, never, ever, Modify the verb. Nunca vamos a modificar el verbo, aunque esté en tercera persona. Never. Remember that, guys. Please. Because that is also a common mistake. Eso es también un error que se comete muy a menudo. We never. Nunca vamos a modificar un verbo, aunque esté usando tercera persona. Solamente con las preguntas. When we have an, a positive, cuando tengamos una oración positiva, en tercera persona, ahí sí lo vamos a cambiar. But in questions, we will never modify the verb, ¿ok? So pay attention y to las, that. En las respuestas sí usaríamos, cambiaríamos el verbo. No. Of course, sí. Si se fijan en la respuesta, sí. ¿Por qué? Porque... Si es positiva, la respuesta, sí, la vamos a utilizar. Pero lo vamos a modificar. Pero si es negativa, no. Porque ya sabemos que las modificaciones se dan solo en las positivas tercera persona. No negatives, no questions. Never, ever. ¿Ok? Are we clear on that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yes, sir. So here we have just general information for you to know, like uh, the translation in Spanish. When yeah. we translate a question into Spanish, uh, the like the meaning of that, or what we just do in this case, we can change. Si se fijan. Una oración afirmativa, we can change it automatically to a question. Automáticamente la podemos crear una oración. We have an example right here. You speak English. ¿Hablas inglés? Question. Bien simple. Solo le agregamos do or does depending on the subject. Right? Dependiendo del sujeto, así le agregamos do or does. So easy. Tenemos la oración afirmativa. You speak English. The question, do you speak English? 
Another thing very important, guys. Otra cosa muy importante. The intonation. La entonación. Entonación para hacer preguntas. We even have that in Spanish. Incluso en español, nosotros sabemos que hacemos una, como una media entonación, que eso lo cambia automáticamente una pregunta. No es lo mismo que yo le diga, ¿te bañas? Aquí yo le diga, ¿te bañaste? Right? So, we have that even in Spanish. So, so in, if that's the same in English. We have to make a little intonation to make clear that we're asking a question. Because if not, si no, la otra persona le puede entender, but he will, porque va a tener el auxiliar al inicio. But it's really important that you make intonation. Because here, we are learning English. Estamos aprendiendo todo lo de inglés. You so speak. it's very important that, that you understand everything about it. So we have another example right here with the third person. Affirmative sentence. He speaks French. Y la misma oración la cambiamos con el auxiliar does al inicio y decimos, does he speak French? Right? So, it's very important that you keep in mind all this information. So, is there any question? Any question regarding to this topic? Alguna pregunta? Doubt? Something that you would like me to confirm or to, to explain you one more time? No? Estas esta son solamente para cuando no llevan el verbo to be. Oh, yeah, of course. This is, por eso lo llamamos simple present. Porque en el simple present, we do not use the verb be. No utilizamos el verbo to be. Solo otros verbos. Porque... Ya eso ya es diferente. Las oraciones o preguntas con el verbo to be, it's completely different story. Okay? All right. Teacher. So I, yes? En, la, en las question, does he speak? Porque no, no le agregan la S. That's what I was saying. Eso es lo que estaba diciendo. Que no se les olvide que en las preguntas nunca vamos a modificar el verbo. Ah, okay. En preguntas y en oraciones negativas nunca. Solamente en oraciones positivas con tercera persona. Si no estamos ah, usando okay. tercera persona, no. X, no, forget it. Ok, ok, okay gracias. Ok, perfect. Any other question? So far, so good. Por ahora, todo bien. Is there any other question? No questions. So everything is clear. So it's, if everything is clear, so we are going to go to the practice. Vamos a ir a la práctica. Here we have. This is the practice. So guys, oh, I'm sorry. I stopped sharing this. Way. I'm so sorry. So um, I couldn't send you guys and my deepest apologies, my disculpa, verdad? Because I told you yesterday that I was going to send you the, the slides or the presentation before the class, right? But I forgot it. But I promise I will do it that tomorrow, okay? So you can take a picture, guys, as the same one that we did yesterday. You can take a picture, a screenshot, Hacer una captura de pantalla en tu, your computer or I don't know, in your phone or something, because we are going to work on this part, okay? And you let me know when you're done. Me dicen cuando ya hayan terminado, so I can move to the next one. Is it done? Okay. All right, perfect. Yes. Okay, here we have number two. Yes. Done. And that's it. That's pretty much it. 
We just have. Teacher? Yes. Can you show me the before picture? Oh, the last one? No, the first one. Oh, the crossword. The cross. Crossword. The crossword. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, you're welcome. So uh, we're going to go, guys, to the breakout rooms. Once again, una vez más. Uh, if you can, if you can, to try to speak in English with your classmates, try to do it, okay? Por favor, try to practice. Yesterday, I saw that some of you were speaking in English, right? Este espacio es para que hablemos en inglés. If you don't know how to express yourself completely in English, at least try to say some words. The words that you know how to say, say that in English, okay? Las que sepan, right? If not, try to, try to do it, try to practice, okay? Okay, just let me see, let me create the groups. And uh, of course, okay. Teacher, puede decir un momentito lo que puede, tenemos que hacer en, en los yes. en la práctica. Uh, number one, en la, en la primera, modificar los verbos en tercera persona. Ok. Y en la segunda, solamente crear oraciones con la información que recibimos con lo de la clase. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. So now join your groups, guys. And I will be checking each one of your groups. Guys, are you okay? Hello, Ana Yancy, are you having some problems connecting with your group? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, Ana Yancy, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Oh. Anayansi, can you hear me? Hello. Anayansi, hello. Hola. Are you having problems? Hola, eh, tengo problemas. Hola, tengo Tengo problemas con la conexión. Oh, okay, no problem. I completely understand that. Con ese, con ese porque le preside una una vocal una, una vocal flyers uh -huh. ahí sí se le agrega es eh. y es el es donde está que no se bien. solo tenemos solo tenemos eh, lo que son ahí y es sería ah. flyers flyers y es y es la cuatro permítame 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 Answers. 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 Respuestas. ¿Qué pasa? No 
Answers. Sorry, solamente ese. Mm -hmm. And five. And answer. Answers. Answers. Mm -hmm. Answers. Sorry, and five. Enjoy. 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 Uh -huh. Three and six. Uh, uh, worries. 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 Uh, seven. Y eh, ese sería IES, ¿verdad? IES. ¿En cuál? Uh, ¿En Worry? Ajá. Ajá, ajá. IES, sí. Worries. Worries. Ok. ¿Dónde estarás? Y... Fly. 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 Eh, number four, answer. 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 Uh -huh. eh, yes. Answers. Answer. Answer. Y D. Y D al final. Yo solo E. Solo E es porque no lleva en la R, solo se le agrega la S. Solamente Ajá. en lo Ajá. que yo vi, solo le iba a agregar en la terminaciones SH, S, 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 S o X. Ah, ok. I enjoy. Or... I'm sure. Enjoy solo es on the earth. Eh, después está employee o employee. Employee es, ¿verdad? Sí. Employee. Employee sería ese. Ese. Y Ajá. Enjoy, enjoy, creo que es con S al final. S, ¿verdad? No, solo S, porque termina en consonante. Live 18. Live 18. 18. Mm, no, live. Live. Live va. Ah, sí, sí, la 17. Live. Lives. Ese creo, nada. ¿no? Solo la S sería. Uh -huh. Después ¿Qué? está 18. Sí. Oye. Con S al final, ¿verdad? Ahí creo que sí. es S. No, creo que solo es S. No, solo es S solo porque son cuatro S. letras. Oh. No cabría, sí. Solo la S agregaríamos ahí. ¿Y el 18? Sí. Sí, y el 19 sería el PAS. 
Pases. 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 Ahora vamos con la ciudad. Pero no cabe si es pases. Porque son cuatro, quiero ver, son cuatro letras. Si ¿Sí cabe. Ese sí cabe. Ah, sí, sí cabe. Es doble. Sí, sí cabe. Cabe. Sí, sí cabe. Cabe. Sí, cabe. sí, porque solo agregaríamos S. S. Ajá, sí. correcto. C-A-E-S. Sí. Ok. Vamos con la 20. 20. En hoy o en hoy, no sé cómo se dice. ¿Cuál es la 20? En hoy no, o en hoy. Ah, no, perdón, dos es, perdón, estoy viendo de más. <risa> y creo que es ese nada más. No es... Sí, eso no sería la S. Y ese. Y ese. Y es. No, y es. Y es. Yes, fix. Yes. yes. Y, uh, la, la siguiente yes. es Marius. 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 Ok. Yes. Y kisses. Kiss. Kiss. Kisses. Kisses. Yes. Kisses. Bueno, es como lo comprendo, no sé. Okay. Yes. Y es. Yes. Yes. Y es. Yes. Y es. Uh -huh. yes. yes. Ok. Okay. We finish this. Yeah, I, I then. Classy, yeah. Yes. Yes. <coughs> Con la siguiente. Todos están listos. Sí. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Number one. Do you like mineral water? Do you drink? Do you, Do you... To drink this? Sí, es tomar, ¿verdad? The verb is to drink. Sí. Do you drink mineral water? Sí. Ok. Otra serie.
All right, guys. Uh, did you complete all the exercises? Did you finish? You didn't. So, Casi terminamos, teacher. Almost. Okay. <laughs> all right. But at Nos least. Faltó la segunda parte. <laughs> part number two. Okay. So for part number two, guys, we are going to complete that part tomorrow at the beginning. That is going to be the first thing we are going to do tomorrow at the beginning. Okay, we are going to complete that. So um, let me see. Before we go to the exercise number one, I will tell some names so you can participate. Let me see. Jonathan Cordova, you will have number one. Brenda Villera, number two. Claudia, number three. Elizabeth C, number four. Jacqueline Mendez, number five. Lisette Montoya, number six. Ana Maria Lopez with a T, number seven. Maria Luz de Nieto, eight. And number nine, Jose Manuel Rosales. We're just going to do 10. And the last one, Elvis Quintanilla, number 10, okay? So let me see. Let me try to share the screen, so yeah. <coughs> So go ahead, guys. I was going to be number one. Hello, hello. It's Stace. Sorry? Stace. Stace. Very good. Number two. Who's number two? I'm sorry. And Joyce. Number two, it is actually a noise. A noise. A noise. A noise. Number three. A noise. A noise. Very good. Number four. Swear. Swear. Answers, very good, with the letter S, number five. Enjoys. Enjoys, number six. Worries. Worries, very good. Worries. Number seven. Worries. Das. Das. Das, very good, number eight. Pushes. 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 Number nine. Likes. 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 And the last like for 10. Fixes. Fixes. Very, very Fixes. good. Okay, guys. Tomorrow we are going to complete part number two. That's going to be the first thing we're going to do. And thank you so much for attending to the class this day. And see you tomorrow by the same time at the same channel. Okay. So I hope you have a good night. Good morning. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.